check out this animation, this heat map animation that I made in Microsoft Excel. Super easy to make. This shows um, the density of points as elk move across the landscape in the United States, in a portion of the United States. In a previous video, I showed you how to make this. Go back and check it out. Today, we're going to focus more on the animation and filtering so we can make some really cool presentations and videos. So to get started, make sure you have the layer pane open. You can open that by clicking the layer pane up here if you don't have it. Um, oh, and I will say, if you want these data, um, you can check out the last video for where you can download the raw data. You can also get the exact Excel sheet I'm using uh, if you sign up for the Geospatial School basic YouTube membership, which gets you ad-free videos and data and early access. All right, enough about that. Let's get on to it. The tour editor is where we want to go. So up here on the home panel, click on tour editor. It's going to open a new pane on your left. You can see that we have scene one here. Now these scenes, um, we can set them up to represent different time periods, different, different extents, whatever it may be. For this, we're going to just kind of center the data right here and we'll create a couple of different scenes that show different time periods. Uh, so you can kind of walk through a tour of what happens in different years with the elk population and the elk movements. Okay, so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna come over here on our panel and go into settings. Uh, we can name a scene. Let's just pick a year and let's do this for the year 2007. And here we can select our start and end dates. Before we do that, um, let's go through things a little bit. So we can select the scene name, we can select the speed. Notice that I changed the speed, it changes the duration. So we can go really slow and it'll take a long time. We can go really fast and we'll get done in a quarter of a second. Um, I think about 10 seconds is, is about the right speed for something like this. Um, the effect will change, will... So let me just show you. If I do circle, watch this. If I play this scene now and I click play, you'll see that we're gonna kind of rotate uh, as that scene plays. So there are some various uh, transitions or effects you can use uh, as we do this. I'm just gonna click escape to exit. Um, I prefer for this to just not have any effect, but you can play around with those as you see fit. Now, each one of these scenes, uh, we can symbolize differently if we'd like to. So, what I'm going to do is close out the options. Um, I'm going to right click. I'm going to cop. I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to create a new scene right now, actually. And I'm going to copy 2007. We can make a scene with the world map or a new custom map. I'm just going to copy the scene that I already have. Okay. So now let's start at 2007. I'm going to come over to my filters. And I want to add a filter so that I just show 2007. And I'm going to select my date time, which is DT. And now I can select is on or after. And I'm going to select, um, click on here and go to 2007 and January 1st, 2007. That's what I want. And now I can come down here and do and is on or before and come down here, go to 2007, and select December 31st, 2007, and I can apply that filter. Now you'll notice that when my animation plays, it's not going to look the same as it did before. I can actually look down at this one. I can play this animation, um, and you'll see that when I play the copy, which has all the data, we get a result that looks like this. Now if I go to 2007 and I play this animation, you will notice that it's going to look different because we're only showing one year of data, not 10 years of data. And there we go, it's completed, okay? So you can see the difference there. And now what I wanna do is I'm gonna come over to this pane here and it doesn't have any filters associated with it. I can come change the filter, so I can come down to filters, and I can add a filter. Now notice I'm on this pane over here, and I wanna add date time, and is on or after, and I'm going to select new year here, and let's do, um, 
let's do 2012. And we'll do January 1st, 2012. And then we'll do is on or before. And we'll come down to 2012 again. 12, um, December 31st, 2012. Okay, and we can apply that filter. And now you'll notice that when I switch between these two scenes, um, we're gonna have a different result because we have different years. And you can see the duration for each of these is 10 seconds long. Okay, so we can do this for as many as we want. Um, in fact, we can, let's add a new scene. Um, let's, oh, we need to change this so that it's 2012. Okay, so we have that. And now let's make a new scene and we'll copy 2012. And let's come to our filters and let's remove this filter. And now this is going to show data, it's processing for the whole time period. And I can rename this um, um, for the period of record. And now what I can do is I can make, I can play this tour. So if I go over to play tour, I can play the tour from the beginning. And as I do, this is going to start and it's going to show me the dates for 2007. You can see this in the top left corner, the date that this is occurring at. So we're in September, October, November, December. And then we're going to have a transition here. And now we're going to switch over to 2012. And you can see that now we're in um, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. You can see how those other patterns moved around. And now we're going to go through the entire period of record in 10 seconds. And it's going to go really fast here. Um, and you can see what that looks like over the entire period of record, which is, I think it was 2006 to 2015. And when we're done, we can push escape and we've just created the animation. We can create a video right here. So if we do this, we can export this um, with whatever format we would like. We can add soundtracks. I'm not going to do that here, but you can easily export this and share it. Um, and you've just made an animated map with different scenes that you can turn into a video to share your data and your results with whoever you want. It's super easy to do this and it's super powerful. Um, so I hope you found this useful. If you found this useful and helpful, if you click like or leave a comment below, it, it really helps out so that people can find this and know that it is useful content. So as always, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.